Adding professional titles and animations to your videos can make a huge difference to the end result. I'm sure you've seen some great animations around and it's easy to think that these may be a lot harder than they actually are. In this video, I'll run you through how easy it is to make them for your videos. Now we're gonna be using Adobe After Effects for this video. So if you don't have it, you can grab a free trial at the link in the description below or on the screen somewhere now. Once you've got your software ready, you could start from scratch, but that will mean having to learn Adobe After Effects and having a really good idea of what you want to make. We're all about doing things quick. So instead, jump onto a stock template site and we can find something that's already been built. I use Video Hive for all of mine. Check the description below and on screen for a link. So we'll be running through how to create a basic title today. But as you can see, you can also get logo animations, intro screens, and a bunch of other cool templates here as well. So on the side, if you go to After Effects Project Files, then down to Titles, you can see there's heaps to choose from. You can play through them by putting your mouse over them. And as you can see, they've got everything, titles, animations, pretty much everything you could possibly want. So these are awesome places to start if you want to customize something up or you could just use them as they are. And if you look at these, $17, $22, $17, $14, they're all insanely cheap for what they are. And we are going to pick this one. Titles Constructor, $28. Add it to your cart, buy it, download the file, and we're away. When you open up the zip file that you've just purchased, you'll typically have some sort of help file and the actual After Effects project file. So in the help file, this one, it'll just run through. Let's just zoom out a bit. It is really easy to customize. Edit text placeholders, edit image placeholders, replace logos and address of websites. So it does tell you how to do it inside, but really you don't need to get overwhelmed with all of that. I'm gonna take you straight to the sections that you need to know for any of these templates. So if we open up the titles constructor project file now. Now it's highly likely you'll get this message pop up when you open it for the first time. It just says that the project file needs to be converted from a different version of After Effects. So you can click okay. Now it's a good time to save this as your own file. So we'll just go file, save as, save as, and we will just save it on the desktop. And yep, that'll do. So at least now we're running off our version of the file. So I'm not gonna run through everything in too much detail here. This isn't a really sort of how to use After Effects video. This is just to find out exactly what you need to find in your template to be able to change it quickly and easily. So in the project window on the left, you've got these things with a little colored icon. They're your compositions or, or your videos, your timelines. Uh, and you've got your uh, folders here as well. So what you're gonna look for here is in our example here, this master 1080. So that will be the master file for this template to show you all the examples that we saw on the Video Hive website. So if we just double click on that to open it. Now as we scrub through, we can see the different types of titles in there. So you can see in that timeline, there's one called underscore story. So all of these are in one timeline. Now to find the editable one that you want, let's open up this one. So double click on story. Now this is the breakdown with each of these little clips here, are all the compositions or all the timelines inside of this project for the different type of title animation. So you'll see as I scrub through, we're losing quite a bit of quality, but that's, that's still all right for the purpose of this video. So as we go through and play, maybe I'll just hit spacebar and see if we can get it play. So this is this one here coming on now. So you can go through and work out which are the ones that you actually want to use in your project first. And then from there, we'll work out how to edit the text. So let's, for example, pick this one here. You get the black bar coming down and the text coming on. So let's just pick this one here. Comp 10, so let's double click on that. Okay, so comp 10. Now what we do is just click this little button here, transparency. And what that does is just show us exactly what we're actually going to see in our end product 
because you'll have your video playing behind this. So, and at least now we can see that that black box is coming down. We've got the number 10 there, which if it's step 10 maybe, uh, and then we've got our text, our three pieces of text. So, change description here. So you can see when we click on this once, that it lights up the box here. So we know that that's gonna edit this section. And then media number, that's gonna change here. So let's edit the media number first. Let's just double click on it. You can see here that, this is, that we have another media number and a shape layer. Now we can't edit any of these, like change the text until we get to one that is a text layer. So we'll open up this one again, open up the next composition or the next timeline inside of this. And there you go, this is a little T there, text, and it's got 10, so we know that that's editable. Now you can come up here and grab the text tool and you can type whatever you want in there. So let's just put PV for primal video. We can grab the arrow tool here. We can reposition it to wherever we want. And now we can close out of that timeline and back out of that one and back to our comp 10. Now you can see already that our PV has been updated there. And you'll see that if we scrub through here, it's animating in and that's all we've had to do. Let's just find where the text is and edit it. So the next one here, change description here. So let's double click on that. And there we have it, the three text layers that are all editable. So let's just then edit text one, then come down to the next one, with our type tool selected, and we can highlight that, text two, and the same for text three. And what we can do is reposition these. You'll see there's nowhere near as much text as there was before. So we can just click on text layer two and bring it down and more move it around. But if you hold down the shift key on your keyboard, that'll snap it back to be in line with where it was. So in here, you can also change things like your font, the font size, the position. So we can make them all a bit bigger and maybe position them more central. So whatever you want to do with that, let's just make it a bit random. And yeah, just boost that to something as well, text three. So whatever changes we make in this timeline are brought through to this one. So the other thing we might do is just change that yellow. Maybe yellow is not your color. So we'll come back here to find color control. They've made it very easy in this template called color control. So we'll come down into color control and click this little drop down arrow here. It will show us all of our extra options for this layer. So here are our colors that are used throughout these templates that we've purchased. So there's the yellow. So we can click and pick our color. Go OK. Now if you come back to Comp 10, you can see now that that's updated to be blue. Okay, so let's run through another example for you. So we'll open up the master again and open up to the story, or you could just go direct to story there. And these again are all our examples. Uh, let's just do a bottom title, a basic one here. This is one that I've actually used a few times, Comp 14. So we double click on Comp 14. This will be the, the um, project that we're working from now. So you can see that it comes, just pops up from the bottom. And if we toggle the transparency here, you'll actually see that it's got a black box around it that slides up as well. So it's a very simple, but pretty polished looking title. So to edit that text, we'll double click on it. And you see that this still isn't editable because we don't have our text layer there. So we're gonna double click on change subheading here. And there we have our T, so our text layer. So from here, grab the text tool at the top and we can type in our text. And again, change the font, change the size, change the position. We can just click the arrow tool and move it along. Hold down shift to keep it in line with where it was. You can also use the arrow keys when it's selected to do minor adjustments on position, left, right, up and down. Okay, so we're happy with that. Awesome text. Come back to comp 14, because that was the complete composition where it's positioned in the place that we want to have it exported. And this is the video file that we'll end up with. So you can see that this just pops up there. And you can disregard all of this extra stuff going on. That's just 
what they've done to achieve the effect. So the last thing you might want to do is because this composition here, let's just zoom out a bit using the minus key on the keyboard. You can see that this title actually runs for 45 seconds there. So what you might want to do is go, well, my title only needs to be 10 seconds. So you can leave the start marker here. This is your work area. So we can grab this last little blue handle here. So you can, and you can click that and drag it back to wherever you want your project to finish. So you can see your time here, 9.29. So close enough to 10 seconds. So now when you export this video, you're only gonna get the 10 seconds there because all this extra stuff, there's nothing going on. So let's export this comp 14. So we go to composition, add to render queue. Okay, so there's two settings that you need to change in here. You need to change it from lossless to lossless with alpha. So lossless means it's gonna be exported at really high quality without losing too much detail. And the with alpha part means it's gonna be exported with an alpha channel. So it's gonna keep the transparency in the video file that we export so that you can just drop it on top of your video files and you'll be able to see both your video files and the titles as you would expect. So it's very important you tick lossless with alpha. The other thing you need to change or choose is where you're going to save the file. So for us here, comp14, let's just drop it on the desktop. And we hit save and then render. And that'll just go through and play out the animation. You'll see it'll run through here now. It'll run through a bit slower. Once this blue bar hits the end, your file is saved, in our case, on the desktop. And then you can edit that in to one of your timelines. Okay, so that's done. Now what I will do is just quickly show you in ScreenFlow how to add this title now onto your video. Okay, so I've just brought in last week's video into this timeline. If we come over and also add in media and bring in our comp 14, which was the one we just exported. First thing to do is just to pull this video layer down one. And now we've made room that we can put our title on top of it. So what we'll do is drag down our title onto our timeline on the layer above our video. So you can see as I scrub through now, there's our awesome text title that's popped up there. If you found this helpful, we'd love a thumbs up. And if you're after more ways on how to improve your video quality and efficiency, hit the subscribe button and check out the Primal Video channel or head over to primalvideo.com. We'll see you next time.